All right, y'all, it is Saturday. It is the black belts are up. Malachi is fighting. May is fighting. Jamil is supposed to be fighting. Um, yesterday, I came back from the gym and I was told, hey, we're leaving. Um, no preparation. So today, I'm also coming back from the gym. I'm going to try to record a little. Uh, I don't have a tripod, but hopefully you guys can hear everything. I left my memory card in DC. No, I have a bunch of memory cards. I left my hard drive in DC, so I feel super naked. <clears throat> One time when I was working at Europeans in Portugal, I was staying by myself at an Airbnb for one day the next day everybody from Teddy Day Kids Project was gonna roll up and be with me but that one day I was alone with my Airbnb got broken into and they stole not my camera but right in front of the door I had my computer I had all of my memory cards and my hard drive they stole all of that so I'm really paranoid um right before I left I was backing up the hard drive that I take to my backup hard drive which I keep in a safe now <laughs> after that happened and because of that, I was doing that last minute and I completely forgot my hard drive. So I have all my memory cards, but to me, it feels weird. Like normally I get back from a competition or a day's work and then I back everything up to um, the hard drive. That way, if the memory card is full, I can clear some of it off. I don't like to clear off my memory cards until I'm done with the event, but got to do what works best. I'm also scared to bring the memory cards with anything to the competition in case it gets lost or stolen. I'm really paranoid about that now. But hey, gotta have faith, right? Well, a mix of faith and being prepared. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish packing up. And yeah, I'll see y'all at the tournament. Peace. All right, Saturday, black belts. We have full to go. I thought that was May, and it's not. It's Fabrizio Andre. Oh, oh, but here we have Gabi with their coach. And so she hasn't fought Yara yet. She's going into the semi. She's fought once, which is really dope. Get my side this Now I gotta go find Malakai. Malakai's up. He's not really talking to anybody. He's doing this new thing. So I'm just gonna sit around him and film him like I did with Sadiq. So apparently we're having an award ceremony. Not apparently, I had to ask somebody what it was and it's clearly the ranking ceremony. So they have all the medals here. Hanging out with BJJ Korea and Lu, what is it? Lu, Lu? Uh, from the front row or you? No, yes, you know. Your Luca. name, Luca, Luca, because it's Luniverse. And you know, by the name of his page, I should have realized he was French and not Brazilian, because I do so study Brazil. French. So but like, That's Luniverse, real. Luniverse, it makes sense. Like, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've ever been on the mats for a ceremony, so that's really cool. And <laughs> everybody's taking pictures. All right, so I'll show you more when they start dropping names. So I am Matt side was trying to eat my lunch. Vanessa just competed. She was the last of the tail eye athletes, I believe. Um, but Margo just rolled up. Maggie is behind me. I'm a big Maggie fan, girl. If you don't know, I'll drop the link to the episode of the podcast where we were talking about her. But Margaret is standing right now, right in front of me. I got the best view with an awesome seat. She just got the back take she's up for, which is really dope. She's an amazing girl. Yes, push Stay tight, stay tight. 
Extend your legs. I can imagine high, watching high. fights any other way. Like May, when I was eating, he came up on that too. He ravaged the guy he was fighting. Like, it was all fun and games in the beginning, and then he got his point, and then he jumped over his guard, passed his guard, just took his back and choked him, like, savagely. I can only imagine how it feels, because I've done speed drills with May, like, three years ago. When he was smaller for World Pounds, like, and it was hard being the bottom, the rookie to his drill, like, so I could only imagine what it feels like actually fighting. Stay tight. Stay tight. Stay tight. Double under. Double under. Margo still got this girl's back. Lost the back. I don't know. I take it back as soon as I said it. She's got to be attached. We'll check it out on Matt 3. Margo, you have to pay attention. Why not? Luka! That's just what it's like when you're on that side. A lot of people going back and forth, running around, and there is not a lot of space behind me. Two minutes left in this match. Where I'm sitting now, tomorrow, this is where the presenters will be. So Hal will be up in here with whoever he's working with. All of the mats will change, so only have two mats. No. I was like, do I need to take pictures over there? Can't do it. Victoria. Another athlete, um, my bad. Another athlete that I know from Brazil, or I've never actually met her. I don't have a chance to get up right now. Really? Actually, I'm not. I do have an opportunity to get up and go get some footage of her. So Damn, I'm sitting here watching Victoria's match, and she's actually fighting uh, Fionn Davis, who's like really well-known black belt. She competes all over the place. I know her coach, Daryl, and she hurt her ankle or her knee, so they had to stop the match. The paramedics came out. Um, she got tears in her eyes, but like she went back to competing, so now like knees on top of her. Uh, it's hard, but you know, like I can hear her corner. There's a girl here that's clearly with her, screaming in Portuguese, and she's like, "Okay, you got it. You know, let's just get there till the end. Let's just make it till the end. Like this is the black belt final. It is the. Oh, it's not. It's the light quarterfinal. I thought this was the final because they have the three judges here, but no. But it's just really sad. Like I know Dion's like a dope athlete, a lot of respect, but I always go with the people from my spot. I was hoping that Victoria would be able to make it. And it's especially hard to imagine like if you don't have health insurance here, like she's gotta wait till she gets back to Brazil, which I assume will be Monday if she does get really hurt. She's gonna finish the fight now, but you know like when the adrenaline comes down, it's a lot harder. So we'll see how that goes.